Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a product review on the Retifus High Gain GMRS either base or repeater antenna. You can use it for either or. Um, this antenna can handle 100 watts. It, uh, it has a gain of 6 uh, dBi. Um, it's going to be the model MR004 on RedivisSolutions.com. Um, the antenna here has two sections when you when you when you put it together. You can, there's a this section. There's a collar here that has an element screw, and there's another collar here that has an element screw, and both sections are marked with a frequency 470 450 so you kind of put it in the starting point and um, you should use the uh, an SWR meter to adjust it um, but if for sake of this video um, I set up the repeater with eight channels I picked the middle band channel channel 4 repeater channel and I have it hooked, this antenna hooked up as we speak to a 50 foot coax to the repeater. And I get a SWR of 1.01 or 1.02, give or take, uh, which is real good. I'm putting in about five, a little over 5 watts. Um, but if you want to know the, the length of the antenna when it's tuned from the tip of the antenna to the top of this black base the top of it from the top of that to the tip of the antenna it's 29 uh, and 3 8 inches long now you're probably if you saw my other videos um, you're probably wondering well, wait a minute the other antennas were 5 feet 10 feet how come this one's so little because what they can do um, this black thing right here is a coil so with a coil it makes the antenna electrically longer so the transmitter don't really care how the length is per se so you'll see a lot of manufacturers to keep the antenna small and light they will use a coil in the antenna um, and they've done that for years um, so that's what the advantage of this antenna is it's small it's light can handle 100 watts it's got a ground plane rods that come with it it comes with u-bolts um, an aloe wrench to do it um, what I would recommend when you get all of it tuned I would recommend some silicone clear so silicone on the top after it's tuned Put a little bit of clear silicone on top of there and here to help kind of keep water out. Um, and that will help it. Um, but that's, uh, uh, like I said, this would be a good either base antenna or a uh, repeater antenna. You can use it for either or. Um, the nice thing about it, like I said, it's small and light. So you don't need a very big, you know, antenna mass to hold it up, um, which is good. And also, if you're going to be putting this at a location, like like a, a water tower on top of a water tower or on top of a, another tower with other antennas, and you get permission to do it, they may like a smaller antenna compared to a 10-foot antenna or even a 5-foot antenna. They may like a smaller one, so this would be a really good one to uh, do. Um, I will be doing uh, repeater tests with this antenna. So you will see a lot of videos here in the next couple of weeks when the weather hopefully gets better. Um, I will be doing it with a the Redivus uh, portable repeater um, with a amplifier hooked up to it. And I'll do a separate video on all that equipment and how I'm going to do the uh, tests. Um, but, uh, but at any rate, um, if you have any questions... Uh, please post them down below and please subscribe. Thank you.